Life is a journey, long and rich for some, but for some babies born too soon, the journey can be harsh and short. Every year, more than 15 million babies are delivered preterm or early in the third trimester when important body parts grow, like the digestive system. And it's the time when cartilage starts to transform into bones. Babies that are delivered early have a much higher risk of neurological disorders and underdeveloped lung and a respiratory system. And so the problem with these kids do not end at the delivery, but they basically follow them all through their life and some of them never recover. Inside Science. A normal full-term pregnancy is about 40 weeks, but around the world, more than one in 10 babies are born before 37 weeks of gestation. Complications from preterm birth are the leading cause of death among children under five, and preterm birth claims a million deaths a year worldwide. The World Health Organization estimates that 75% of those deaths could be prevented. To learn more about preterm labor, researchers want to look at changes in the cervix, the narrow passage at the bottom of the uterus. The cervix is mainly made of collagen fibers that are structured in an organized way. As a pregnancy moves along, the collagen becomes disorganized, which helps make the cervix flexible and softer so the baby can move through it. Think about the cervix as a stopper, basically. It's the load-bearing structure that holds the baby in through all the period of, of, of a pregnancy. So it has to be strong enough to sustain the weight of a, a baby and the placenta. What we are focusing on is the loss of structural integrity of the cervix. Researchers are testing whether changes within the cervix happen too soon in preterm labor, changes that cause it to become weak too early. We have created uh, a number of devices actually to look at the collagen arrangement in the cervix. The cervix has a very ordered arrangement of collagen and we can measure that order through Mueller metrics polarimetry, through polarization technique. The goal is to measure the collagen as it becomes more disorganized throughout the pregnancy to get a better picture of how it might contribute to preterm birth. Ramella and her team are starting the technique with human patients soon, but the work shows promise for earlier detection. So if we could detect preterm birth early, we could direct the mother towards some therapeutical intervention. This is Inside Science. Inside Science. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.